NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton is with us now. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. First, let me offer our condolences on the loss of officers Ramos and Lou. Thank you. You have taken extraordinary precautions at this point for New York City police. You've suspended patrols by auxiliary officers. Detectives are working in teams of threes. Academy trainees have been told not to wear their uniforms in public. Are there credible threats out there right now against the New York police? What we're doing uh, is an abundance of caution for the time being. We're constantly adjusting uh, threat levels uh, a couple of weeks ago because of the lone wolf threats, potential terrorism acts, uh, we raised them up. Uh, we'll adjust accordingly uh, in this instance until we make certain that this individual acted alone, which appears to be the case, that we have put in these extra efforts. Uh, we'll probably end up scaling them back, but an awful lot of copycat threats have come in in the meantime. We have to check every one of those out. So it's an abundance of caution at this time. How do you go about checking each and every one of those out? Because as you mentioned, Brinsley was a lone wolf. It's something that we're getting sadly familiar with. People with mental disease, with mental issues, taking actions on their own. How can you possibly police that? Well, we're in an extraordinarily capable uh, police department, NYPD. Almost a thousand officers in counterterrorism and intelligence who are very skilled at viewing social media, uh, tracing uh, back through photos, etc. And what we're attempting to do is follow up on every one of those threats, and we do follow up on every one of them. We're also attempting to determine, in the case of Brinsley, uh, where did he get his money? Who does he hang out with that uh, doesn't seem to have been employed? Uh, he's a couch crasher, as they call it. He doesn't seem to have a residence. He just crashes on somebody's couch. But he seems to have had money, cashing $100 bills. So we're checking very closely all of his relationships. Uh, what was his world like? And we're very adept at that. We have some of the best detectives in the world. There are a lot of tourists in the city, of course, right now, Commissioner. And, <laughs> wall, to, uh, we're, wall, wall to wall. <laughs> wall to wall, and we're a little more than a week away from New Year's Eve. Is there anything extra you're doing at this point, given the tourists in the we city? We have well honed plans that have been developed over the number of uh, last number of years, particularly since the 9-11 threats. Uh, as we go into that New Year's week after we uh, uh, finish with the funerals that are coming up in the next week. The focus will shift uh, uh, very quickly to that event. Uh, we plan for it all year long in terms of our intelligence gathering. Uh, there were no credible threats directed against that event as of this uh, time. And uh, we've pretty much perfected it over the last number of years to deal with the million plus who come into that area on New Year's Eve. How does the mayor regain the confidence of some of the officers right now that have been very vocal, including at the funeral, turning their backs on him? I know you were there as well. We're in a very difficult place at the moment in that regard, in the sense of uh, officers' feelings about the demonstrations, about the anti-police mood that seems to have been sweeping the country uh, of late. And uh, it's not easy being a cop uh, in America today, uh, the dangers that still exist for them, despite crime having gone down fairly dramatically over the last 20 years. Uh, it's a tough job. It's, uh, and as we've seen uh, in some instances, a thankless job. Uh, despite that, I speak for my city, they've done a remarkable job. They're keeping crime down. They've been restrained uh, when face-to-face -face with demonstrators, uh, you know, kill the cops and the language that's directed at them. Uh, I'm privileged to lead an extraordinarily professional group of men and women who are, who are committed to their profession. Well, we hope for safety for all of your police no, officers. You. Commissioner Bratton, thank you so much for your yeah. time. Good to be with you.